right. Hi, Shane. Megan, hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So we have a story to share. Yes. And it's rather obvious. <laughs> so yesterday we went to urgent care and that was because I had a approximately one and a half inch gash on my palm that was quite deep. That's the thing. Like it wasn't like super long, but it was very deep. And um, I did this in the morning, wrapped up my hand and went about my day thinking, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Totally. Like I cleaned it and whatnot. I, I took the best care of it that I could at the time, but I had things to accomplish. I couldn't just like cancel my entire day in order to be able to take care of this. So I did. And then I get back and then I, um, I even went to the gym, right? And had this like crazy workout. Um, not using my hand, I used like wrist attachments on cables and was able to train shoulders, biceps, and triceps. So I was very proud of myself in that regard. Um, there were a few times where it really hurt, <laughs> where like I moved my hand and it like opened the cut and I was like in so much pain. Yeah, like, so that's what I was wondering if, because even though you're not using your hand, I feel like there's so many things at the gym where you're just doing this, you don't even realize. Yeah, but then... Or just existing that you do that. Yeah, and then I get home and... Do you want to tell the story though, how it happened? Yes, yes. Okay. But I get home and I open it up and I'm like, it was so wide. It was so wide, the cut. <gasps> and I'm like, the inside of my body is now outside of my body. <laughs> it, made, it was really scary. And um, so then... Um, you were still at work at this time, so I called my mom, and I was just like, oh wait, no, you weren't, you were at your meeting, um, and then I called my mom, and I was just like, hey, like, I need to go to urgent care, and this is really, really bad, so I go, she joins me there, you're updated on the whole situation, you leave your meeting to come and be with me while this is going on, which was like, honestly, such an incredible and wifely thing to do, my mood improved drastically once you arrived I really like wanted you there because the situation really sucked and it's just it was so much better once you got there and <clears throat> um hey Mio so all right the story as to what happened I've talked a little bit about my diet on here I do an animal based diet that means I eat pretty much exclusively red meat and fruit um so every morning I prepare, typically like to prepare burgers. Um, when I'm preparing burgers, I weigh them, portion them, and then uh, make them into patties. When I make them into patties, in order to have them be like around uniform size and thickness, I'll take like the ball that I've formed, put it on like a clean surface, and then take normally a plate, and then I would push down on the plate, and then rinse and repeat until I'm done. So I was doing this, but the beef was still like semi-frozen. So I went to do this and was pushing harder than normal. And um, the plate, to say that it like cracked would be the understatement of a century. It like shattered, shattered into a million pieces. There were so many pieces everywhere. And um, I turned and looked at my hand and it was kind of a scary moment because, like, it was instantly just, like, this deep, dark blood. And there was a lot of, there was a lot of blood. <laughs> and my blood. And um, so I just grabbed a bunch of paper towel super fast, put it to my hand, held it there, kept my arm, like, up like this, right? And was like, fuck. Like, and then I had to figure out what to do. And, like, my first thought was I got to go to the ER, like, right now, right? And ultimately, I'm happy that I didn't do that, but, um, so I took a second, I calmed down, and... Laid down on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I laid on the floor for a moment, I just, like, looked up, and I'm like, how is this happening right now? Like, <laughs> what a terrible way to start your day, you know? It rotten. was, like, six in the morning. Yes, exactly. So... I was at the gym, you didn't even tell me any of this was going on, so I think Not you until were, later, yeah. yeah, well, I was, you know, dealing with the in situation. The midst <laughs> yeah. And you called your mom at that point. Yeah, and she helped me clean it up, which was good. Um, and wrap it. Yes. But it wasn't. It was a janky wrap. So, 
okay, so then fast forward again, and now we're like at the urgent care, and we have this PA, and she was really, really awesome. A very yeah, yeah. nice young girl. Yes. Yeah. So, um, basically, she asked us if we wanted an x-ray. Um, weren't so certain about the x-ray because of, uh, of what it would cost. And she's like, well, we should really do an x-ray and we might be able to do it pro bono. And I was like, that would be great. And she was able to. And <clears throat> we do the x-ray. And there were three distinct, like, white... Pieces. Pieces that showed up on the x-ray. And those were pieces of plate <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> and we couldn't just get... Sewn up. It, it's sewn up because then they would have remained inside of my body. My immune system would have attacked that. And that could have been problematic. I was opening myself up to a lot of really bad things like um, infection. Infection was the main one. Entering like your bloodstream. Like you have no idea. Yeah, just a bunch of really bad stuff. Yeah. So scary stuff. Yeah. So at that point, she was nervous and she <laughs> called the doctor and told him the situation and relayed back to us that what we're going to do is numb the area and she wash it then flood it is the yeah, term like that she used. Yeah, wash it out. Yeah. yeah. And with a syringe. Yeah, she put some kind of solution in it that like made it, the entire area like swell up with water, which also made the area more exposed mm -hmm. and was helpful for trying to figure out what's going on yeah. in there. And um so we identify one piece, right, pretty easily. It was, like, quite visible, and it was the largest of the three. And then, like, the second piece was actually adjacent to the actual cut. Like, if the cut <laughs> was, like, uh, you know, kind of a canoe shape going straight up and down, and then it was towards my thumb was the other piece. So she took that out, and now we've got two pieces out, and everyone's like, you know, in good spirits, only one more to go. And we continue a series of flushing and over and over again, and then I have my hand in a, in a basin that has this, like, solution in it that's supposed to help, like, draw out, um, uh, any material that might be left in there, and we can't find the third piece. So, she goes, well, there's a chance that when we were washing, it could have been so small that it just came out, and I'm like, okay, you know, like, we're hopeful, but we're praying, we're hoping, and so then we go back in for a second round of x-rays. And lo and behold, it's gone, right? Yeah. Like, it's just a, a total It was a joyous actually. moment. It yeah. actually was. It was, yeah. We were, we were in the thick of it yeah. at that point, yeah. Yeah. So these were the stakes. Had that piece remained in there and she was not able to locate it herself, we would have had to go to the ER. And at this time, it was already like 9 p.m. So we would have had to go to the ER who knows when we would have been seen, how quickly we would have been seen. We likely start would have, all over. Yeah, we would have likely had to start the whole process over. And they were saying that I would have had to be, had to have been seen by a hand surgeon, which would have been like ridiculously expensive. So we're incredibly fortunate that things worked out the yeah. way that they did. They did. Um, now that was like a big lead up, and that took most of the time while we were there. Then. After that, once we were clear, there was no, like, glass shards left in my hand, uh, she sutured me up, and, yeah, I got five stitches, and those are going to be in my hand for a week. She said eight days would be better because of the size of the cut. Yeah, it was funny. I know, she's like, it's normally seven days, but maybe eight days for you. <laughs> yeah, she did say that. And, yeah. anyway, but this, like, green wrapping that I have on my hand right now, Basically, there's like the stitches, and then there's a gauze pad, and then there's this wrapping. And she did that before we left. Yeah. Um, so tonight, I have to redo this because I think you're supposed to leave it on for 24 hours. She said then, 48, like, actually. Did she? Oh, yeah. well, never mind. Okay, I'll have this on for a little bit then. Yeah, she just uh, she said you can't get it wet either. Her name was Julie. She was a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. She was so nice. I we like. Shane's mom and I like hugged her at the end, and Which she goes, so she fun. goes, oh, and now we're hugging. Yeah. But she stayed like open an hour late for us. Yeah. Like it was supposed to close at eight, and she was there. I mean, actually, well, I think we it was... we totally lost track of time. Yeah. I had no sense of how late it really yeah. was. Like I wasn't on my phone. Obviously, right. I was like engaged in whatever was going on. I honestly her. think she was too. I think she was like 
wanting to help. Wanting she, to figure it she out. She had like that heart of a, you know, of a healthcare worker. Yeah. And yeah, so she was incredibly generous, incredibly kind, and very, very helpful. So super thankful to her and the place that we went that they were yeah. able to fix me up and resolve this issue. Um, and the ex-care ta- or ex-ray tech girl, so I think she was actually just a medical assistant. She stayed late too, mm-hmm. which was so funny because she had told her like, go home, like I'm fine. And she's like, I couldn't do that. Like I felt what, you know, like trying to be a, a good girlfriend in a way and mm-hmm. be like, I'm not leaving you here by yourself. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was just a great experience. I'm honestly not a review leaver, but randomly I'll leave a review for a place. Yeah. And I will leave a review for them. Because They're always outstanding reviews. The last review that I believe that you left, at least the one that I like know about, was that like coffee shop. Remember? In Traver- yeah, leaving the- Travers. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and now, it was still the number one review. Right? And now they use like the picture that I put as like the picture of the place. Yeah. So it was. I want to see that. By the way, I mean, yeah. 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 So, um, but that was our story. I hope something like this doesn't happen again. I'm super pissed because it's um you know it affects lifting and if lifting is like super important to you which i know it is to you but to the general you the person might be watching at this then like anytime you injure yourself it's one of the first thoughts that crosses your mind like oh this is going to affect my training yeah and well it's that but even just truly everyday life stuff like a hand is something you use like yeah i know having to work around this is is annoying because like even though, like, nothing happened to these fingers, it's weird. Like, my brain is, like, this shutting down this whole area. Yeah. You know? So, like, it, I, it doesn't want me to, like, use no. my hand. No. So, I'm going to try and listen to that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I don't know. And my thumb is very stiff. I think it's going to take some time. Even to after get mobility get the back in that. Stitches yeah. off. Yeah. So. Anyway. What a crazy story, though. I mean, we were blessed. You know, God, like, God after us yeah. and put us in like great hands mm-hmm. and also we had a small miracle and that was it like we were able to get it out like then and there and then the situation didn't have to escalate escalate um so um when i was working full-time another part of this and like a lesson that people can like glean is that like um when i was working at the university i had like all of my benefits but since being laid off from there like half a year ago now it's been way longer than we think it has but um, uh, I got a new job, but my new job doesn't offer, like, benefits based on the hours that I'm working because I'm not, like, technically full-time there. Mm-hmm. And, um, but while I was in Madonna, um, I maxed out all of my benefits, so, like, all of my retirement savings, and, like, I had an HSA card that was associated with my Blue Cross card, and, um, <clears throat> I hadn't used the... HSA card, so... It wasn't even activated. It wasn't activated. Um, again, because, well, I had I had no use for it. Right. So I hadn't... Yeah. yeah. So we called, because now I had a use for it, and um, I had um, a significant balance on there. Exactly how much isn't super important, but, like, a lot of money. Like, yeah. more, more than enough to cover the visit. Yeah. And um, a couple times over. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, we get that activated and I was able to uh, cover the cost of the visit. But, like, this is why, you know, health insurance is very important. And even if you're someone like me, right, like, people will have the bullheaded idea that, like, oh, I don't need health insurance. I'm, like, super healthy, right? And young or yeah. whatever. And, like, yeah. I've never had a health condition. And, like, yeah. you know, like, but what if you get really sick? Like, you know, people just get sick. Yeah. Like, you could have... Um, There's terrible or, things that Yeah, or you could have an accident. accident. Like, I had an accident. Yeah, you can be in an auto wreck. Like, yeah. all of these things. Like, bad things can happen. And had I not done the smart thing then and, like, gotten this HSA card, I would have been paying out of pocket. And that would have been... Devastating at this time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, it would have been... It would have been hard. Like, yeah. I would have been, like, uh, cl- like, close to the wire kind yeah. of thing. Like, yeah. that would have... So very grateful in that regard you know what that's that's like one of my favorite personal finance tips is like you know pay yourself first you'll thank yourself later that's interesting yeah Mm. yeah so anyway but oh 
another fun thing about this whole, about all of this, was that I feel like our general attitude, like me, you, my mom, like the PA, like we were all like laughing a lot in the room. Yeah. There was a lot of laughter in the room yeah. and like just really good conversation was flowing the whole time. Yeah. So like, even though the situation itself like it was really bizarre sucked, and weird. Yes, and but like we were, we managed to like have like, dare I say like fun. Like we yeah. were just like, yeah. we had like bright spirits the whole time. We're yeah. like, oh, it's going to work out. And like, you know, she's doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, so. Your mom does this thing when she gets nervous. Well, she'll go like this, she'll go, yeah. And like squeeze she my would do that leg every time or, yeah. and a needle went into my hair. Or if he so flinched. Many times. Yeah. 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 It was kind of so. nasty. I'm like a naturally very queasy person, but I put my big girl pants on. You did. Yeah. Yeah. You did so. it for your man. I did. I appreciate that. We were talking about like how you kind of have to dissociate and like not be like, this isn't happening to someone I love. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is just a thing that's going on and it's fine. And it's going to be okay. Yeah. And it's going to be okay. So. Yeah. I don't know. I felt. I handled it pretty well. You did. Because that pain was, like, high. Yeah. And I, was, I mean, I went all my day, like, throughout my day. Went to the gym. Last night was yeah. bad for you. Yeah, and then we were there, and, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that. And then, but when she was, like, I don't know, I was, like, come on, bring it. Like, yeah. we're going to be okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, but, yeah, last night was hard because when the numbing cream, like, wore off, it was, like, a... Wave a, of It was pain. A very much, like, a flooding sensation of the mm-hmm. pain that you mentioned. And... Just when I thought that that pain had reached its pinnacle, it like rose to a level beyond that, and um, I think <laughs> probably could have used like a, a a stronger a stronger sort of something. pain sort yeah. of painkiller instead of just Tylenol, which is all we had, and that's all I took. So, um, but that does make you kind of a kind of a daddy, in my opinion. Kind of mean I feel better about it. Like I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's our story. Totally just a freak accident. A story I will not soon forget. A scar that I will wear on my body for the rest of our lives. And probably a change in routine. <laughs> I would fucking hope so. No more Honestly, place. Yeah. All right, I love you, babe. Love you too.